our stronger students. If they choose to be a businessman later, so this could actually help them throughout their career. 他们是在同一个时间内在台上去分享他们自己的想法。鼓励更多的同学参与进来，因为毕竟是关系到孩子们未来十年、二十年的长远的发展。其实他们需要经历的事情还很多。只要你有这个经历，你以后做任何事情都有机会。Graduate of Oxford University and worked in business for about forty years before teaching. I was lecturing at university, and now I teach the students at the school business. Well, we've had a, quite a long relationship with Asdan. By that, I mean about five years. We've been working with Asdan, and students really、uh, enjoy it. So, whenever it's happening in Hefe, our students usually participate at weekends. I think maybe five or six times we've joined in with Asdan. The really good thing is that kids really love it. They really enjoy it, although it's very, very hard work. And I think that's partly because they're already motivated before they come. They know it's going to be hard work, but、uh, they also recognise it's good for their university application. I think that the most productive, positive aspect is the teamwork. Really learning to work as part of a team. Big. <laughs> it's a big event. I didn't expect there to be 1,100 students here. Or, or more, maybe. I'm not sure. I think there's a, a good vibe, good atmosphere. It's,、uh, I think, probably. So I would say fun. I think the third wor、uh, word might be positive. I think it's a very positive experience. I haven't felt anything negative about the kids being here or doing what they're doing. I think it is a good experience for students because, as I mentioned before, they're getting teamwork. Uh, they have a variety of tasks, particularly presenting skills, developing their ability to confidence to stand up and talk in front of、uh, other students. I see the students who do business competitions, and I think we only do as done actually. But I see them in the classroom; they are stronger students. It di does directly help their learning for their exams. I'm Nivesh Narayanan. I'm from Mauritius. I'm an economics and accounting teacher, A level in IDCSC. I'm from、uh, representing the school Wikimabi Changzhou. And it's our first time in the ASEAN finals. We did host it a few months ago in October, where our students, lots of students, participated, and most of them got selected in the top 60%. Where we have brought two teams. This time to the All Stars Finals. Firstly, I can compare the two events to make it fair. So I think previously we had to do it within two days. It was quite intense, where students were carrying their own studies at the same time, doing the ASTAN over weekend, which was quite tough. But this time, maybe it's harder for them. But it was spread out through four days, where they can actually. Well spaced, I would say, between the events where they got time to present and reflect, get the next task, and so on. So the intensity in the two days in the regional round was higher than this one. And in terms of learning what they have actually learned, I can say in three folds. The first one being experiential learning. So they're not only learning from like, rote learning.、Uh, you're given a task and you just need to read and answer. This is far beyond that. So they are actually experiencing it, reflecting, and then applying it. Even though there are like requirements and rules, but there are so many ways to get through the task. So I think that's the main part of it. Second is about developing the skills that they need at further education, or even beyond that as a career. So they do have the basic skills such as communication, negotiation, problem solving. Uh, having challenges and to face that challenge under pressure because they are tight deadlines every day. And the last one, all the skills that they develop, they can actually use that at university or beyond university. Be it like budgeting for a company, the salaries, making cash flows, knowing where to place it, and actually going from just thinking about the business to actually all the steps at the end, maturity phase, and so on. I think all of these are really useful not only for academic purposes but. If they choose to be a businessman later, so this could actually 
help them throughout their career. So I think the first aspect that I would like to encourage them to come forward or join ASTAN or future competitions is like students normally they don't like to be taught in a way where they have to read something only and then take an exam and get the marks. So even though we do have rankings and walks and points here, but it's completely different because I've seen some students, they might not perform equally good in a class, but when you put them outside the class, they perform extremely well that you can't uh, understand that is that student the same person, but they're a completely different person. And most of them, they, they are good academically, but they don't have that skill where they can actually present something, work on something as a team. So this would give them an opportunity to actually learn something or develop a skill that they can take with them beyond the, the exam. Because once you learn for an exam and then you move forward, some of the steps you might not need them, but I think everything that they learn throughout this competition, they can actually take with them. 我是来自广州市新阳中学的前面名老师我就第一时间打电话给到了深圳办公室向他们表达了我对这个活动非常感兴趣这么一个印象这个活动对我们学生来讲有非常实践的意义那这个时候的话在他们看来是巨大的一个自信去发挥他们的商业知识我觉得第一印象大部分学生给我的反馈是那我们抛开说他现在在获得什么名次我们从二零二一年开始跟阿斯丹合作从区域站开始这也是我们第一次带着高一高二的学生进入了总决战我觉得是区域站的话两天时间当然会比较短一点比较集中一点跟这一次的总决战比起来它是把时间拉长了但是
。然后，但是我觉得这个好处就是说，给这些学生们有让他们在短时间内去发挥他们的想象力跟创造力，可以让他们去在短时间内去组织这个团体去解决问题，有了新的方案。对我觉得这是非常跟区域站不太一样的地方。我觉得提升的技能的话，那第一个肯定是他们的创新力。然后，因为他们的一直不断的在提升，他们的想法也比之前更成熟了。比如说，怎么去交流，怎么去跟其他的团队去沟通，一起去合作。我觉得这是他们学到的一个很宝贵的一个经验。嗯、这一次的总决战的所有的体验。都是他们的第一次，那其实对我来讲也是第一次，所以我觉得从做决策或者在任何每一个项目的之中，然后到晚上的一些活动，他们其实每一个环节都是很享受的，因为毕竟对他们来讲其实都是蛮新鲜的，对。然后我就觉得，其实对他们来讲学到的东西，当然第一个肯定就是学识上，他们学到很多的东西。第二个，我觉得最重要就是他们学会了怎么样去互相去体谅对方，然后互相的去合作，对他们来讲是最重要，而且是最宝贵的一个成长的体验。